And then NASA records that time as 11-11 universal time. That was a wow moment for me. I knew the significance of the end of the Mayan calendar. I knew the significance of 2012. But I felt that that may be the answer to my 11-11 because that winter solstice happens at exactly 11-11. Now you may say, well, doesn't it always happen at 11-11? No, it doesn't always happen at 11-11. It has never happened at 11-11 and will not happen again at 11 Every time there's a winter solstice, it's at a different time. It doesn't, every winter solstice is a different time, every summer solstice is a different time. It can even be a day or two apart, I don't know if you're aware of that, but the solstices can be a day or two apart from when they were. Um, and one of the other things I, I noted on that is the time, I should have put that up there, it had no seconds and no milliseconds, the same as the Jerusalem 1111 I had found. That was again a wow moment for me, I thought, if this is the end calendar, it's 11-11. Maybe that's the 11-11 that's been haunting me and beckoning me. Other discoveries on December 21st, 2012, it came into conjunction with the crossing point of the Milky Way equator and the ecliptic path of the sun. This occurs every 25,800 years. It takes us about 26,000 years to go entirely around our universe, um, uh, our galaxy. Uh, it's called by the Mayans the sacred tree and a portal to another world. This, this concerned me because not only does that event happen at 11.11 on this, in December 21st, 2012, but it occurs in an extremely rare time, a cycle that happens, it's the end of a cycle. It's called the 25,800 year cycle. It's when we go through all of the zodiacal signs, which are a little over 2,000 years each, um, Jesus, for example, was born in Pisces. Pisces. Pisces is now gone. We're moving into Aquarius. So when Jesus was born 2,000 years ago, we were just going into the 10th sign. Um, and I believe that's why they, there's, there's, there's also a worry from scientists that the pull from going through the galactic equator could upset the Earth, could tip us. Um, ancient calendar start dates. I figured if they knew that the calendar ended on 2012, then it would behoove me in my research to see if they knew when the calendar began. Because if they knew when the calendar began and it was accurate, it would probably make sense that the calendar at their end would be accurate. So I looked at the beginning of their calendar. I thought if the Mayan's end date is accurate, then so should the beginning date. And in 1987, scholars deciphered the Mayan, the Mayan calendar. It's a very, very complicated thing to decipher. And agreed, all of them, that the Mayan calendar began on August 11th, 3114 BC. Well, as it turns out, that's exactly the date that all other early civilizations started. Ancient Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, ancient Hindus, and Sumerians all started 3100 BC. Civilization, not cavemen. At that time, there were already uh, cities being built. There were um, uh, languages, number systems, all of that. Every one of those civilizations started at exactly the same time. I didn't consider that a fluke. The 1212 date. There are only really two numbers here. December 21st, 2012. They're either a one or a two. All these numbers are ones or twos. The event itself is called 1212 because it's December 2012. So it's called 1212. <coughs> I figured the revelation I have sourced before because it is one of the most prophetic books in the Bible. Uh, I am not a Christian. I am Christian in my ways. Um, a, a lot of people, when they, when, you know, I talk about revelation and, and they get upset because they think I'm going to be teaching them the Bible. Um, I have no disdain for the Bible. I don't believe it's 100% accurate, and I believe there are some things that we've been misled on, and uh, that has caused some some problems in the church over the ages. But I, I decided, because it's a, a book on um, end times, and 1212 is an end time date I would study. 12 dominated revelation. Just dominated. It talks about 12 stars, 12 gates, 12 angels, 12 tribes. You can talk about 12 stones. I think the amethyst is the 12. Um, they talk about a wall of 144,000 cubits. 12 times 12 is 144. Or 12 times 12,000 is 144,000. 144,000 sealed servants of God. 12 times 12 is 
144. We got 1,000 out that's some zeros here. Uh, the last verse of the Bible is 21. That's the last verse. There's that date. And it has 12 words. Amen is the 12th and last letter in the Bible. Revelation totals 121. And we've already gone through. If you take Revelation, if you take um, R is 18, uh, E is 5, B is 22, etc., all the way across in total, and like in Western numerology, that will come to 121, having all the number combinations of 12, 21, 12 within the Bible. Also, um, 121 has all the numbers in 12, 21, 12, and also 11 times 11 is 121, which we went over before. <coughs> To me, the mystery of 1111 had finally been revealed. I felt it was time to tell my story, thought that perhaps 11 was the question and 12 was the answer. How many chapters are there? 18. 18? Um, do you want to break now or do you want to continue for a while? Just go on. Keep going. Yeah. Keep going, okay. Uh, chapter 9, Cosmic Re Revelations. Um, at this particular time, my discoveries were weighing heavy on my thoughts, my peace of mind, my soul. I felt my discoveries were, were important, and I somehow felt these were becoming more and more urgent. On May 14, 2007, after a meaningful prayer, I decided I would leave the uh, auto business. Um, not auto business. Uh, not financially uh, able to leave my last dealership until I was seven. Oh, I wasn't financially able to leave it, so I had to, to wait for a while. Uh, and in July 2000, uh, wait till July. I was at my last dealership in July 2007 because when I quit the one dealership, I realized that I would not have enough money to do my books. I would have not enough money to pay my editor. So I went back for a few more months so that I could gather some more money so I could go print my book and do the things I had to do. Uh, this is what started, this is the basis of this chapter, Cosmic Revelations. I had a curious question asked to me. Two days before leaving the dealership in July, that dealership uh, was Country Hills Toyota, uh, I was asked by a co-worker if he could do an astrological chart on me. So this is a guy, I have uh, 30 salespeople working for me. Out of the blue, this uh, uh, black gentleman, uh, Rolf Desiree, who is a Haitian-born, uh, astrologer, um, a, uh, a well-learned studied astrologer, came to me and said, um, he'd like to do an astrological chart on me. Um, I liked and I trusted Rolf, and amusingly, I agreed to give my birthplace, birthday birthday birthplace. That's all I did. I said, I was born on such and such a day in such and such a place, and I thought it was funny. Why did he even ask? He asked me that uh, uh, two days before I left the dealership. He didn't, by the way, know I was going to leave the dealership, neither did I. I quit some. Uh, the day before I left, and again, I didn't know I was going to quit until the day I quit. Uh, there was a reason for that. Um, I was told by this person who did a reading on me, I guess he went, on, went out and did it on his own, his own, Tony, you have a very rare and interesting chart and have a strong connection to the Lord. I was no longer amused, this felt serious. Three weeks later, on the evening of July 25th, 07, Rolf presented a reading of my astrological chart. Rolf unveiled his findings in detail. Nothing would be the same after that night. One of the things that I, in my research, I had been indecisive about is reincarnation. I would read some stuff and I think we reincarnate and I read other stuff and I don't think we reincarnate, but the more I read, the more I believed we do. This is what made me convinced uh, uh, that we do. Cosmic Revelations. Um, these are, there's a whole chapter on Rolf.